Hey YouTube, we have Leonard here. Bring guys and gals, day day live. We're here, episode number eleven. We're live once again. Um, we're gonna hop right into this, everybody. Per the usual, it's been a while. I do apologize, everyone. Took a while to get this video out. Uh, it's busy. It is really, really busy. Um, especially with all the anime I'm reacting to the season. So when I miss a day, it's difficult to catch up to everything. But we're finally here with day day live. I'm excited, and of course, everyone follow me on Twitch. Link the switch box down below. Do all my live reactions on the Twitch side. Speaking of, we're just talking. We're, we're, on, we're in reminiscent mode on the Twitch side. Uh, summer preview. Oh, I remember when I did the summer preview last week. I think the summer preview video 21 was like the first time I did like a preview stream. Or was it spring? I can't remember. Uh, I think it was summer. I remember I sent a link with the president for Bunny after you were like, I'm going to be removed because it really was. YouTube don't play. Twitch I can get away with some stuff. YouTube does not play. Really busy draft. Oh, that's true. The NBA draft. Almost forgot. Coming soon. Okay, everybody. Let's let's get into this episode. Smash that like button. Greatly appreciate. We're gonna begin. We're gonna start this episode in five, four, three, two, one. Let's get this Kudumi backstory. I'm ready. A day day Kudumi has begun. Arigato. I forgot. All this talk about best girl Kudumi, but she is still best girl. But man, I miss Toka. I love Toka. Toka's right up my alley. But honestly, Kudumi's new design is so good. Like her student design, oh my gosh. Shirogane and Kurumiya. Date a detective. Hey, there it goes. Origami the detective. Siesta, is that you? That's disturbing. Aw, Origami is so cute. Disturbing, but cute. Yo, all the guys hate this man. Good. Yo, James, we need the Shido Funk. We need the Shido Funk OST. I'd hate him. Wait a second. Bruh. Tonomachi. Tonomachi, he's your friend. Tonomachi, this is your friend, you piece of garbage. They started a cult. They started a cult to destroy Shido, led by Tonomachi. This is why I keep telling you guys, Tonomachi is like the most trash friend I've ever seen in anime. In terms of the like the genre of like the perverted friend who does nothing, Tonomachi is complete and absolute garbage. Garbage. Absolute garbage. Yo, the girls were useful. <laughs> the trio actually was useful. Best girl. Shido's son. Man, we don't talk we don't talk about cheesy dude beating down <laughs> Yodi. Craziest fight of the season. Why does it sound so suggestive? Arara. Why was that so suggestive? Was the sexual tension between the two of them? I'm just saying, there's been some like, there's been this romantic tension building up with Kurumi and Shido this whole arc. I can't. I thought Tonomachi was all into 2D girls. He is. That's what I'm trying to say. Tonomachi's a, a traitor. But to be fair, Tonomachi's into 2D girls because he can't get... Like, literally, Tonomachi does like 3D girls. But he goes into the 2D because it's not happening. And then he hates Shido because of his popularity with all the other women. Oh, 
I love that image. I love that image there. It's funny, the opening, I never realized why they had Origami versus Tenka. All makes sense now, given a few episodes ago. This is such a good opening, guys. I've officially determined that this is my second favorite opening in Day Day Live. I can say that with very much so confidence. This is my second favorite opening. Just behind opening one. It's so rare that you change a character's design, and I like it. Man, I really love Kudumi's design. Kanbate. Kanbate, Shiro-san. Dude, take the karaoke. He's just like, nah, I don't need you guys. Nope. Nope, he don't. We don't need you, my dear. I guess the question is, where is he going to take her? We trust the harem king himself. Rashido says we listen. I always put Shido ahead of Kirito because Kirito doesn't want the harem and falls into it. Shido embraces the harem and actively fights for it. Thus, Shido is my king. Lingerie? Isn't this a repeat of what happened in season one? No, nah, because this is like where you first had your first date. <laughs> this man. Yep, exactly. That was it. I was actually going to reference this, by the way. And this goes back to the Day Day Bullet movie. But this whole idea of, like, the Kudumi who was a copy. Who clearly fell in love with Shido and then died. Just saying. He really did. He really did, though. I'm definitely on the hype train, Leewick. 100%. Honestly, guys, Genny, the only thing I respect Kirito for in the harem... Well, as you know, I'm lying. I, ooh. I respect Kirito because he's loyal to Asuna. And Sugu needs to be written out of the story. Guys, I don't, I don't mind Sugu anymore, but dang. Alfheim Online Season 2 was, was rough. Or I guess for a second half of Season 1. Sugu's trash. But Leaf is where it's at. I love Leaf, but Sugu's trash. Aww. This is true. There isn't a rule against that. That is facts. Oh, this is so cute. They're doing like a gift exchange. 
Oh, he made her cat chocolate. Oh, she made him cat chocolate. No, Sugu was not. Oh, Sugu was, you're right. Not have that. Yeah, taking notes. Take them notes. Because she does like Shido. There's something holding her back. What? Umai and Goku. What about Liz? Liz wasn't, or I guess Liz was. Oh, we're finally getting, the, finally we're getting to this. No, I'm not prepared to know the truth. I'm good. I don't want the truth. Okay, I kind of do want the truth. What the? Oh, Yo, Kurumi was not playing. Kurumi was not playing. Yo, Kurumi. There are some scenes of the game that exist. See, so Liz isn't. I thought to myself, I said Liz, and I was like, I don't know. I don't know. I like Liz. It's one of my bases. Guys, we're actually going to get Kudumi backstory. Huh? Yoto. Yuto belt. We don't talk about Silica. Oh, is this young Kudumi? Oh, she does talk like that. Aww. Imagine she died from that. Yo, Kudumi was precious. Alice does count. What are you talking about? Alice is perfectly fine. I love Alice. Not because Alice reminds me of Saber, but. So this is her best friend, again, from the Day Day Bullet movie. Remember the best friend. She's like Emiya. A hero of justice. You can see how Kudumi is also affected by like injustice and like people like suffering. Whether it be the cats or whether it be people. I feel like such a traitor, but honestly, I really do think Kudumi is my favorite character. I think she's ahead of Toka now, guys. I feel like a traitor, but it is what it is. And she was so precious when she was younger. What? What is this? What the? What is this? Oh, she's a good. The spirit of origin. Oh, no.
But why her? Why Kurumi? Seri. That's what I want to know. Also, inverse Toka's theme, yeah. Yeah. Mio Takamiya. The hero of justice. Spirit of my enemy. So this is not the spirit of origin. What? She is the spirit of origin. Kudumi. So she became so she was a human, then she became a spirit. No. But why? For what reason? I don't understand the, the end game for the spirit of origin. You say you hate spirits and then you create spirits, but the spirits aren't destroying anything in the show to my knowledge. Like everything feels weird about what the spirit of origin is trying to do. Well, nah, let me shut up and watch. Well, I'm of the same belief. I've said ever since Nia made that comment that all of them indeed were humans. I have long since accepted that. Okay, so back in the day, there actually were beings that they had to fight. Oh, things are so different. This feels like an anime where people become heroes. The Keyblade? <laughs> Is that the Heto? Yeah, look at Kurumi go. She did look like she was having fun. She basically gave, yeah, at some point you, you have to like, you can't keep this on forever. <clears throat> Why don't you just get contacts? I mean, I guess the, the lines and the clock still give it away even with contact, but I do agree with you guys. You can see that at this point, Kudumi, she was fully on board of all of this at the time anyway. <clears throat> but it goes back to again the foreshadow we saw of her like the desire to be a hero of justice and justice fighting against evil and now having the power to do something but with great power comes great responsibility It could be, you don't ask any questions. <clears throat> oh no, not Chizuru. <laughs> oh, Arida. Nope. This looks like, honestly, like an inferno from like, what's that show? Fire Force. 
I don't trust this me or whatever. Don't trust her at all. Clearly plotting something. For all we know, she's manifesting these things for all we know. They had to have cut it. Couldn't we accept it? I, and I get why she accepted it. What? What the? Why? Why? What the? I bestowed them my power. But why did you have to kill Sawa? Oh no, and then she went inverse? Oh, she almost went inverse. Good job, Kudumi. Man, I love Kudumi so much, I agree. This explains the inverses. Whom you killed? But how did she kill her? Over and over. So you killed her for that nonsense? I've been, uh, at least to this point, is evil. I said before, guys, I'm on Kudumi's side. To me, it seems like the spirit of origin is at the root of a lot of the bad things happening. And at some point, maybe changed because of the leader of what you call it. I'm drawing a blank on names of Radikos Radikosker. But from Kudumi's standpoint, I fully understand the hatred. Some nonsense. I'm fully on board with why Kudumi wants to kill the Spirit of Origin. I just don't think it would be the right decision. Because plot. <laughs> I mean, I've seen a real face where uh, the remakes it. I, they're making it say the Spirit of Origin, but again, the fact that the founder, Ratatosker, clearly likes the Spirit of Origin. I'm just saying, that tells you that there had to be a change of heart at some point in time. So as much as Kudumi wants to destroy the Spirit of Origin, there has to be a point in time where we realize the Spirit of Origin is actually not the true enemy. Or is no longer the true enemy. What's God really is probably the, the final villain. I will say this though. Why is it that the Spirit of Origin kind of reminds me of Dany? <laughs> it's the hair. It's the hair. Hear me out for a second. They both have like the gray hair. Nene is very mysterious. And she's also part of Ratatosker. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It could be with Nene. But I don't know. That would be a very crazy plot to us. The only issue. Well. Well that makes sense. No, because the spirit orange is still making spirits, so maybe that does. I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking things through. Good to me. Well, 
Wait, what just happened in this preview? Wait. What is her resolve? What is her will? What's about to happen in this episode? Psycho Salvation, the worst spirit, shows her devotion. This is the destruction. Is this her friend? Who What happens? Okay, anyway. Let's remember something important. He also created DM. It might be back in the days he saw her as a threat who should be eliminated. It's a high possibility. That's what I'm trying to say. I actually think the spirit of origin was bad or viewed as bad and deservedly so for everything that we have seen throughout the course. The, the spirits being where they are is a direct result of the spirit of origin. And this is bad and it causes issues. But the fact that the, own, the founder DM changes his ways and probably falls for the spirit of origin and creates Ratatosker to now save the spirit, it, it would make sense. I think it makes sense, but I agree. The fact that this spirit is still around is a huge point. Exactly. So I, I don't know. It, it, it makes you wonder. Or maybe Danny's like the, like the daughter, the, the spirit of origin, Ratatosker. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like there's some connection, but nonetheless, I, I think it's very. Oh, the time is long. My bad. Thank you. Thank you. But nonetheless, it just makes me think and wonder. Um, it truly does. It truly does. So there, the theory crafting is starting. Uh, of course, everyone in the comment section down below, uh, let me know your thoughts. Of course, don't spoil me, please. I, I enjoy the fact that I'm anime only. I don't know what's happening. So don't spoil me. You guys have done a very good job of that, by the way. So greatly appreciated. So with that, I'm going to end this here. I like the video, like the video. Subscribe and like my content. is greatly appreciated as always. And with that, I'm Leonard, and I'm out. Take care, everybody. I will see you Friday, and have a good one. Peace.